Okay, guys, watch me go from basic to military professional. Everybody, it's Army Princess here, and I am going to show you how I do my makeup for work every day and also how I do my hair. I'm very simple and if you see this video you may say well that's a lot of makeup that's not simple I can't do that every day. I definitely don't do this look every single day um, just because life happens I have a child um, I work out most mornings and I shower at the gym but there are days that I do want to look a little more made up and put together um, specifically for ceremonies and promotions so you all know I love makeup and I am happy that I'm able to still do my makeup within regulation in the military. Of course you can't do like a smoky eye or go too extreme with your everyday makeup look. You should strive to look professional of course you are wearing the the uniform. Um, so there are guidelines, there are standards that have been set for us and of course the makeup has to look natural. It, it has to complement your skin tone and of course it has to complement the uni uniform. So this makeup look may not work for everybody. I am, I do consider myself darker skin tone. There may be someone who's fair skin and some of the makeup, some of the, the products that I've used may not work for them. It may be a little bit too bold for their skin tone. So make sure you keep that in mind. Make sure you read up on your regulation AR670-1 because it sets the standard for what your makeup should look like. Um, but if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Bye. So we are definitely gonna start with moisturizing our face. That is a plus, especially a moisturizer that has SPF in it. I always like to use that, um, especially here in this hot Georgia heat. So the next step that I usually do is to prime my face. I'm using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I really like this because it holds your makeup in place. Your makeup will not slide with this primer on. So the next step in my routine is the eyebrows. This definitely takes up the most amount of time when I'm doing my face. I'm using a brown um, pencil in NYC is the brand and I got this from my local PX. I use this when I want to do my everyday face because normally I use my MAC pencil and spike but um, that thing is $16 and I'm not going to use that every single day. I'll use that when I go out. This pencil does just fine for every day. It doesn't give me a harsh bold brow because I don't like the harsh bold brows but I definitely like this um, pencil for my everyday brow so go check your local PX. I'm sure you can get it in like Walmart as well. Um, I then take my spoolie and I brush through the hair so that it's just not so bold and dark in the front. And I'm going to go in with my Maybelline concealer that I also got from the PX. And this is in the, in the color 30 Cafe. And I'm just going to clean up the bottom part of my brow because I want a nice crisp clean brow. I also go back and clean up the top of my brow just to give it a very clean nice look. Um, I just really like nice, crisp, clean brows. I don't like thick, bushy brows. <laughs> I am using my chocolate bar palette. I love, love, love this palette. I talked about it in several videos. Um, the color that I am using on my lid is called Hot Chocolate from that um, chocolate bar palette. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid just to give it a little bit of definition and a little bit of transition. And then I'm going to go in more with my crease with Max Brown Script. This is my transition color. And I just wanna put this disclaimer out just because I am wearing the uniform and doing my makeup and no way does this represent the military and this is not how they want me to wear my makeup. This is just how I do my makeup for my everyday professional look. Okay, so moving right along, I am using just a little bit of shimmer 
This color is called Creme Brulee and it's also from the Chocolate Bar Palette. And I just put this ever so slightly on my lids and then I go in with my wing liner because y'all know I love a wing. It's just a little bitty baby wing for work, but nonetheless, there is a wing. So now we are gonna go in with our Real Technique stippling brush, and I am using my Maybelline Fit Me. Lord, I love this uh, foundation. I also got it from my PX. This foundation is great for every day. It gives you a great full coverage. It's not too heavy. It's not very expensive. It is basically the bomb.com. And if you haven't tried it, I suggest you go out and try it because I love it. When I want to go out, then I use like, you know, my MAC and my Estee Lauder and my NARS and my expensive. Um, foundation but for every day this definitely definitely does the job so definitely get your Maybelline fit me on I'm going back in with that cafe 30 from Maybelline um, concealer under my eyes I just kind of like to let it dry a little bit before I blend it through with this small stippling brush and I'm just gonna blend 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 under my eyes so that I look more awake and I don't have so much bags. This is Laura Mercier, it's just a setting powder. And I just set my under eyes so that it doesn't crease. I don't bake, as you can see, I wiped it right off, but I do need to do something to um, set under my eyes. So this is my fluffy MAC brush and I'm going in my, with my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish and medium dark and this is just like a sheer finish to set that Maybelline fit me all over my face yes yes blend 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 of course one of our last steps is the mascara and this is, I believe it's Maybelline as well. I think I should be sponsored by Maybelline. But that was the Manga uh, Mascara. And I'm just using a plain brown um, lip pencil to li line my lips, sorry. And I'm going in with my Seduction by Revlon. And this is a liquid lipstick. I really like this lipstick because it's a nudie pink lipstick. And I think it looks good for dark Skin, women of color like myself when I blend it in it's, it's not too bright it's not too pinky it looks very natural and professional and that is it I did add a little bit of highlighter on my nose and on my cheeks guys hey guys so I just finished my makeup but I'm about to start on my hair for work I am not the traditional bun girl like you won't catch me in a bun i think the only time i want a sock bun is like for my promotion ceremony like if i really want to look that that's military that what's the word that typical you know the military female look with the side part the swoop and the bun that's when I do it. But normally on an everyday, like going to work, you will not see me in a bun. And it's, it's nothing against people who wear buns. It's just not me. What I do is, for the most part, I wear my hair all the way back. I sometimes do a part, but I just, I like my headband. I usually wear my headband every day. That's my thing is the headband. I'm that headband girl. The one girl that has a headband on. So I start by putting my headband on first before I do my hair. And I, I'm currently using this S curl. It works wonders for my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray, spray the perimeter of my hair because I wanna make sure my edges are um, moisturized. I spray the back. 
and I spray the ends. And usually I'll just spray it in my hand like this and then rub it in the ends of my hair. I just find that wearing my hair straight back is easier for me. Um, I'm just not that donut sock bun girl. Um, this is my new best friend. So this is the mo moisturizer that I'm currently using. And it smells so good, it's moisturizing. So I rub a little bit in my hands, rub a little bit on my edges, my nape, and then the rest I'm putting on my ends. And I try to rub that all the way through my hair, all the way through. I'll take my wide tooth comb and kind of just comb my ends through just so it's not so tangled. And then the biggest thing is leaking down them edges, girl, them edges. So I get all of my edges, all of my edges. I'm just basically brushing my hair all the way back, straight back. That's how I like to wear my hair. I don't like the part. I just find that all the way straight back is easiest for me. And for my head shape, you would think because I have a big head, I would try to, I would try to um, put a part in it, but no. Turn to the side for y'all. Like it's just a basic ponytail, really. Like really, at the end of the day. It's a basic ponytail. Now, I don't like to wear a low ponytail. I'm not a low pony girl either. I know some people that have their ponytail way down here. I just personally don't like it on me. So I wear mine more to the middle of my head. I mean, you can't wear it too high, of course, because you have to put your hat on. But towards the middle. And I loop it. shedded hairs and then the last one I'll do like this so I won't pull it all the way through if you can see I kind of stopped and then what I do is pull it like that so I've kind of like spread it open And then I will put my headband on, pull it back to about there, and then lay them edges, girl, lay them edges. Okay, so for my edges, move that out of the way, I'm using Eco Styler Gel, the green gel. It's my first best friend. And I got this little like edges brush from Walmart and I love it. So I put a little bit, I just put a little bit with my fingers on my edges like that. First. And then I take my brush. And I kind of swoop this side up, swoop this side. guys this is literally how I do my hair
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I just have a very simple sleek bun and a headband. And that is my everyday hair, military hair. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would make me very, very happy. You could be a part of the Army Princess team. And then leave a comment below and let me know if you do makeup in the morning. Doesn't have to be a full face, but if you do any makeup in the morning or if you don't do makeup in the morning for work. See you later. My goodness, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You are now part of the Army Princess team. Thank you.